Welcome to part four of this rhythm exercise video series. My name's Crafty, let's do some triplets. Okay, so we're up to lesson six in the Ted Reed Syncopation book. This is gonna be the 16 bar exercise on page 15. And if you haven't seen any of the earlier videos and this is a bit too complicated for you, you might wanna go back and check out parts one, two, and three in the series. But yeah, so this is a really helpful book and we're up to triplets. Triplets are basically just groups of three. And in this particular exercise, we're gonna be doing quaver triplets. And if any of what I've just said is a little bit confusing, you might wanna check out Niels Myrna's video. He's awesome at being able to explain all of this stuff. I could explain it. I can do that, but I don't wanna. But he's already done a great job. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get straight into the exercise. Let's clap it out together. Okay, so as in the previous videos, what I've done is I've played each bar with a different guitar chord, E minor, C, G, D. Let's try it with this exercise. Okay, now if you're finding that tricky, there's a bunch of different do's and don'ts with triplet strumming. A lot of people, they think, oh, I need to go down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. But I prefer personally to every time that there's a main beat, so either beat one, two or three, wherever you're starting the triplet, that that should be a downstroke. So what I'd end up doing more so is going down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, kind of like that. So give that a go. All right, so I've got my bass guitar out and each bar is going to be a different open string, E, A, D, and G. Now I'm using a pick, but if you're practicing with fingers, well, you could go fingers uh, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, or you could try and alternate. Now, so the triplet is three, which is an odd number. Now, if we're using two fingers, or if we're using a pick and going down up, well then, it doesn't match up. So if there's more than one group of triplets, well then every main beat is going to have a different stroke. So if you're using a pick, it'll be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And that's okay if you can accent the main beat. Accent means just give a bit more emphasis to it. Now, as I'm saying all of this stuff, 
I don't want to freak you out like this is just a rhythm exercise, but sometimes a bit of technique is going to help you along with being able to keep up with the rhythm. So there you go, there was a 16 bar exercise getting to practice through your triplets. How are you going with your triplets? Let me know in the comments below. And if you would like some more free regular music tips, well, I have a bunch of different socials that you can follow. Crafty Music Tips is the name. I also have a private Facebook group where you can discuss with me and several other like-minded musicians as well. And if all of that's still not enough, well, what I have to offer you is a free ebook download. It's something that a lot of people are getting a lot of value out of because let's face it all of the time as human beings sooner or later what we're gonna have to face is figuring out how good are we on our particular instrument how good are we at our skill level and so this ebook is called actually how good are you and what I've done is I've slaved over trying to figure out what are all of the ways where you can go through and figure out for yourself with the steps that I give you where am I at on my journey and where would I like to go and you'll also get sun and run the suntime lotion that's also a laxative so I hope that that's helpful for you. Give it a download. My name's Crafty. I'll see you in another helpful video really soon. At least I hope it'll be helpful. <laughs> cool. Take care. I'll see you soon.